Hello, stranger. Well, I say stranger, but I already know who you are. Good day, by the way. But of course, that goes without saying. It's always a good day for others when I talk to them. I'd worry about taking your time away from something important, but don't worry. I can count the number of things more important than talking to me on one hand. And you happen to be one of them. Oh, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. As you might have assumed from my supernaturally good legs, I'm a god. Not the only god, mind you, but, well, the only one that matters. <laughs> Speechless? I don't blame you. It's unnatural. But it's not arrogance if I really am a god, though, now, is it? Here, let me prove my divinity. Um, let's see. You see over there? Which one of those mountains do you think is the ugliest? Ah! That one! can stand before my might! Could a non-god do that?! <laughs> no need to look so scared, sweetheart. I know I'm powerful, but I wouldn't hurt you. No, I wouldn't. I'd never hurt something as precious as you. I know value when I see it. <laughs> now, I would love to keep talking on and on and on and on and on about myself. God only knows I've done it million times. But believe me, I really could talk about myself for days, but the thing is, you see, I'm really here to talk to you. And about you. So I'm a god, right? A real big shot, and how no one can compare to me and all that malarkey, but it's not easy being a supreme god such as me. It's not easy being as pretty, charming, and as divine as me, but... But how am I supposed to date? I'm just out of everyone's league! It's asinine! <laughs> With one exception, though. And that exception is you. You know, I've never told someone I'd loved them before. How could I? They're all mortal, they'd all wither and rot. As I've seen a thousand times before. Even the other gods and goddesses are mortal compared to me. They're like insects. Or grains of dust. Something so insignificant to me, it's... It's almost trivial. But you, you are very, very different. So here, let me say it for the first time. I love you. <laughs> I've been waiting a long, long time to finally get to meet you. And that's not a pickup line, that's just how it is. This world, this world is so boring. Oh, the monotony of it. It pains me so much. It even hurts. And that's coming from a boy who could take a bath and love her and not feel a thing. But you, I find. Oh, I find you very, very divine and interesting. Exciting, even, if I must truly be honest. The sounds of your footsteps, the rhythm of your heartbeat, the things you whisper, the texture of your skin. The way you sleep, the what positions, what you wake up doing, what you stretch to me. <laughs> Sorry. Everything I see in you, I, I, I just like so much, I, I break out into laughter. <laughs> of course, I was watching you. You sound concerned, though. But you should be flattered. It's a, 
It's a great honor to be watched by me all the time. Come on. I don't watch many other things, you know, besides myself, of course. So, it's no problem I was watching you sleep. What do you sound so upset for? You must want to watch me, I guess. <laughs> oh, but everyone wants to look at me when I sleep. <laughs> but why didn't you say so? Oh, silly. So what kind of pose would you like me to do? What sort of positions do you think I'd look good in? Hmm? Trick question, by the way. I know I look good in every position. But you know, you've got a little bit of me inside you. I can see it clear as day. You're a part of me. And that's not an expression. You are literally a part of me. <laughs> what I meant to say is, I created you out of a piece of my flesh. No wonder I love you so much. I love myself after all. And my heart will not be complete again until I have you again. I know what you must be thinking. Oh. You're such a gorgeous and peerless god. Where were you all my life? Why didn't you wait until now to meet me? And why? Why are you so extremely attractive? <laughs> well, I'll answer that. Except for the last question, that's just how I am. But as for the first one, there was this competition among the gods to see who could create the greatest human. So, uh... I mean you. <laughs> but the other gods got so angry, saying I cheated. Oh, fucking. Saying that I made you with a part of myself, a god. And since I made you with a part of my divine self, that you don't count as human. I mean, I can see where they're coming from, but I don't really like to lose. Anyway, the other gods were kind of smart, Alex. Saying, oh. If they're a human, how about we send them to the human world where they can just live a normal human life? And that was that. That's what they did. Place you here to live a normal human life. Without my permission. Without giving you any memory of me. They stole you from me! And I really don't like it when people touch what's mine! But clearly I'm using the term people here liberally. <sighs> no, where was I? Oh, right. For the longest time, all I could do was watch you from afar. Very far, beyond light years even. Even a god has its perks, but I had to watch you from so far away, this isn't even my planet. It's they're not the gods, and I'm not exactly supposed to be here. <laughs> Some other bastard rules it. <laughs> I tried to visit peacefully, but the idiot who runs this place is, is, is a little territorial, which I get. I'm a little bit like that too, especially when it comes to my creations like, like yourself, but stopping me. Your very creator from visiting you really, really was a bad, bad move. I had to be a, a little bit forceful. Fights between gods tend to take a while, so <laughs> sorry for the delay. It was so hard, more than you could imagine. But being a good multitasker made it easy on me, though. I was able to watch you from afar at the very same time I was pulverizing the local deity into dust, <laughs> pulling his brains apart, <laughs> pulling his eyes from his sockets was just. <laughs> Oh, it was so elating to watch his life drain from them. Knowing that you were next, knowing that I could finally meet you face to face. <laughs> oh, it was so beautiful! <laughs> Oh, 
come on now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and don't worry though. This world's god won't be bothering us ever again. <laughs> I made sure of that. Though the term god really is a stretch for her. She's only technically a goddess. Same way raisins are technically edible. Yet she thought she could kill me even though I'm a real god. <laughs> How could she kill me? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. But that's all in the past now. No need to dwell on it. Right now, I just want to appreciate this moment with you. I love you so dearly after all. I especially love your eyes. They're so, so very lovely. Unlike that gods that I just popped out of their pretty little head. Also, your guys are pretty, and I'm not just saying that because I can see my own reflection in them. Although, that is a nice plus. <laughs> I really do love you, though. I should do something nice for you. I should get you a gift. Would you like an autograph? I, I don't really give these out, but I'll make an exception just for you. And before you say anything, there is no charge. I, I insist! It's a gift, after all. I understand. It's hard finding something worthy of having my name written on it. No mere piece of paper will do. I can't think of a single thing that I'd be comfortable writing my name on. Other than you, of course. Of course. Of course, I, I think I'd enjoy writing my name on you very, very, very much. Not that I necessarily will, though. I take great pride in my restraint. No matter how tempting it is to write my name on, on someone as lovely as you. Skin. Such a perfect canvas. I could examine it for days, God knows I have. <laughs> but there really is so much to love about you. Like your beautiful smile and your... Oh, just laugh. I know you might be a bit self-conscious about your laugh, but I personally find it absolutely divine. I love your sense of humor, even. And like I said, you have... Beep! And like I said, you have really pretty eyes. I, I mean, you! You! You have, have really pretty eyes! Uh, <laughs> well, I do too, but that was kind of in, in plain sight. I mean, you're, you're staring at them, so there's, there's no way you wouldn't notice, right? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, now that I've given you the quick rundown of the situation, I think it's time to tell you all about my little plan. You see, I didn't just come here to fawn over you, although I did enjoy that very much, darling. I came here to take you back. To our home, of course. To my realm. It's unbelievably marvellous there. Much better than this backwater planet. N no offence. Everything's better there. The air is cleaner and crispier. The food tastes better, especially the pancakes. Oh, the pancakes, you really should try them. Even the music is more... How should I say? Musical. And the nature. Oh, can't forget the nature. Back in my realm, every last leaf is worthy of a painting. That's how good it is. Every atom is a masterpiece. Everything is a masterpiece in my paradise. Although it's not quite a paradise without you, so... I... I really would like you there. Oh! But that's not all! The best thing you'll get to enjoy back at my place is, of course... Me! The honor of dating me! <laughs> the most esteemed, elegant, and humble god! It's not an honor anyone has had before, it's just for someone as special as you. Truly, I am a bountiful and merciful god. <laughs> and although I am embarrassed to say it, it's an honor for me too, to be with you. But enough of that. Whatever talk we want to have can be had back at my place, in opulence. So come on, let's go. 
I summoned all your things, all neatly organized, no need to pack. I mean, we'll have better stuff back at my place, but I think it's safe and sorry. You can take any pets you want to, by the way. Like I said, I'm a merciful god. <laughs> now, just take my hand and we'll be in paradise in the blink of an eye. Homesick? What is there to be homesick about? My realm is your home. The other gods stole you from me. If it wasn't for them, you'd be at home with me right now. Drinking ambrosia out of a jewel-encrusted chalice while we lay back on cushions made out of the feathers of angels. What's so good about this planet that you want to stay? Would you really give up eternal paradise for it? Oh yeah, and I mean eternal as in eternal life, by the way, just to mention that. But you would seriously give all that up just so you can stay here? <laughs> Cash disease? Get cholera or whatever humans do for fun on this rundown planet? <laughs> That's so pitiful! How dare you! <laughs> no. You know what? No. I get it. You have friends and family here, but tell you what. Time flows differently back home. You can spend a week there and only a minute will have passed here on Earth. So, how about we make a little bet? How about you spend just a week in my paradise? And at the end, if you really miss the people on this planet, you can go back. No one will notice if you're missing for a single minute from their perspective. Personally, I'm confident you'll be too blissed out of just breathing the very air from my paradise to even think about your old friends and family. What do you say? Do we have a deal? <laughs> then it's a deal! Oh, and uh, one last thing. I never said the planet had to be in the same condition I left it. <laughs> Just a little thought, my dear. Love you. <laughs>